In this video, we'll be doing the player ratings from Arsenal's 1-0 loss to Nottingham Forest on Saturday. Obviously, a very, very disappointing game, even though the title race is done. In fact, Manchester City already won the league today when they beat Chelsea. But again, still disappointing that we couldn't take it till the final day, but have to get into the player ratings and then move on to the final game against Wolves. Starting off with Aaron Ramsdale, and I thought I'd just give him a 6 out of 10. Average score, didn't think he did too much wrong. I mean, the goal, some people were suggesting that maybe he could have come out of his line quicker, but to be honest, I don't, I'm not really sure about that. I thought he did what he could, and it was a bit of a, a bit of a lucky ricochet that went in the goal, so I don't really blame him too much for that. I thought his claiming crosses was quite decent. I thought he swept well a couple of times as well. There was one in the first half where a one year was offside. Ramsdale swept it quite well. So I didn't think he was at fault at all for the loss really. Maybe that first goal but again I think that's super harsh. I mainly put that on Martin Odegaard for that bad pass. So I don't really blame Aaron Ramsdale for that. Other than that, well, he faced a couple of shots. Saved it you know, well enough really. Passed the ball. Didn't really have much else to do because after Forrest scored that goal. They just played on the counter attack with a lot of the ball but just didn't really do too much with it so Aaron Ramsdale 6 out of 10 not sure if I'm being a bit generous there but didn't think he had much chance with the goal and uh, yeah didn't really have much else to deal with in my opinion I've gone with Thomas Partey next because I believe he was playing right back from what it looked like to me and wait centre back Gabriel with him and then Kiwi or left back at least that's what it looked like to me so Partey at right back to be honest I didn't think he was absolutely awful I gave a 5 out of 10 below average I mean it was kind of hard to tell I'll be honest because I was a bit unfocused on the game because it was a pretty boring game I'm not going to lie to you and uh, I thought in possession he was good didn't really overlap too much is this a position in the future? I think Arteta was experimenting for next season and did it work out? Probably not, but it's going to take some like adapting. So, but as for this, just a 5 out of 10. Didn't think he was awful, didn't think he did too much great. So, just a below average performance from Thomas Partey, I thought. Ben White playing at right centre back, I give another 5 out of 10. Again, just below average. Not really at fault for the goal, in my opinion because that came from the other side and I thought he marked up the other guy quite well so can't really blame him for that in possession didn't really do too much not as progressive passed it on to as much as he could and defensively again didn't really have to do too much because once Forrest scored that was it and yet just another below average performance really he's not been great these past few weeks not as bad as I thought he was against Matoma last week as well however today didn't do anything you know too bad and didn't do anything outstanding a bit like Thomas Partey's performance Gabriel Magalhães, I give another 5 out of 10. Again, there's quite a few here, just below average performances. I mean, didn't think he was awful. Dealt with a one year a few times at well, but then a few times there were one year got away from him. I thought for the goal, he was super unlucky. Thought he defended well. Was a great tackle, but then I think he tackled it onto a one year's weight foot and went in. So I don't really blame him for that. I think that's extremely unlucky. So, you know, not great for the goal, but again, very unlucky. Other than that, again, like all our defenders, didn't have to too much to do really and but that was really it that one goal and not only for had to sit back he dealt with what he had to deal with well and again similar to white and party not amazing performances but not awful because i don't think he was all over the place defensively just think he had one moment to deal with got unlucky with it and dealt with a one year at times very well other times didn't do great but again just a below average performance 5 out of 10. Jacob Kiwio I thought he was playing left back which what it looked like and again quite unfamiliar with the role in my opinion. I think this is a future position that lots of fans have been looking at and potentially he could be great in and you can see Arteta looking towards next season potential plans for him and again not great because I think he was quite unfamiliar with the position. Again a couple of times when Morgan Gibbs White I think it was skipped past him and cut in and it luckily didn't lead to a goal Again, another 5 out of 10, didn't think it was awful, a couple of times got, you know, um, got the ball or got caught out of position I should say, again, not really familiar with the role so don't blame him too much for that, but um, yeah, just a 5 out of 10, not awful defensively, didn't do great, pretty much the whole of the back four I thought, you know, poor at a couple of times but then dealt with them, you know, reasonably at times and with a lot of the ball, just didn't do too much with it, so again, Kiwi he needs to develop to the position, I believe he can do it, same as Potty, maybe there's some potential there, but as for yesterday against Nottingham Forest, didn't think it was great, so just a 5 out of 10 for him. Jorginho again, another 5 out of 10, I mean you're going to be seeing a lot of these, because I, th I thought, you know, the whole team kind of played, the, you know, the same, not really bad, not really awful, just, you know, very disappointed and lack of really energy really, and maybe lack of um, complacency, not complacency, lack of, you know, feeling this game is important maybe, but Jorginho, again, 
got a lot of the ball, didn't do too much with it, passed it along, a couple of decent passes through the lanes, a couple of passes that, you know, went elsewhere, had a, you know, very bad pass straight to the goalkeeper in the first half, I believe. So, again, not amazing, not bad from Jorginho. You can just hear me repeating myself because I thought lots of the performances were like this and it's a pretty boring game, so not one you really want to be doing player ratings on because I thought lots of these, you know, players were very, very poor. And Jorginho, again, not awful, but just a 5 out of 10. Perhaps one of our better players along with Ben White, maybe, but again, can't really pick anybody to be good because I thought well, you know nobody really deserves a 7 or anything because I thought most of the team weren't great so 5 out of 10 for Jorginho I thought. Granit Xhaka again I gave him a slight before 5 because I thought him in particular maybe wasn't good enough with the ball which is why I given him a 4 out of 10. Not sure if I'm being a little bit harsh though because when he got the ball didn't they get it too much with it. Again stiff in attack we all know about that Xhaka. Second last away game or well, last away game with Arsenal. Not one to remember, just hope we can give him a good send off against Wolves to be honest before he goes because that deal again um, for Leverkusen seems pretty much done and yeah again last game for well last away game for Arsenal wasn't great and uh, yeah in that eight ball been fantastic this season but didn't really show much yesterday when he got the ball which was quite really I thought didn't really do too much it didn't do too much with it I should say and you know almost forgot he was playing so pretty anonymous from Granite Xhaka for a 10 and uh, yeah pretty much the whole midfield and defense not great on the day Martin Odegaard I gave it another 4 out of 10 and missing mainly because well he didn't really create much when he did get the ball didn't really create any clear cut opportunities crosses weren't great at all but mainly because for the goal it was his poor back pass that led to the goal I mean I don't know really what he's doing he's clearly not looked up been great these last few weeks and, and again been a, you know quite good against Newcastle and Chelsea specifically so don't want to be too harsh on him as he's been a brilliant captain as well however as a captain passing like that remember he did this against Man City away really doesn't hope this you know becomes a common little thing he does looked away was it complacency was it not really caring was it just a genuine mistake we don't know and that unfortunately did lead to the goal so very poor from Modigard he'll know it and didn't really make up for it in attack either because I thought we were very we had hit quite a few of the ball uh, lots of the ball as did the Jorginho in the midfield as well a midfield and defense had lots of it just didn't really do anything with it unfortunately as Nottingham Forest defended really well but we just really didn't weren't sharp at all were we just very very slow with everything and I thought Odegaard was Part of that and very poor for the goal as I said so 4 out of 10 for Odegaard I thought. Bukayo Saka I gave another 4 out of 10 and again this has been a big big worry because he's getting a new contract which we're all super happy with but his performances probably ever since the international break some would say where he um, played against Liverpool to now he's not been great has he and that decent performance against Southampton I thought but again today poor he really couldn't take on his man couldn't do, do anything against uh, Lodi. Lodi really had him in his pocket. I mean, yes, didn't give it much up from the overlap. Has to do much better, though. Just very, very poor from Saka. Is his fatigue? Probably. And again, he's played lots and lots of minutes this season. Been, you know, great for most of it. Had a fantastic season, but maybe that's just caught up with him. And this just shows that we really need competition for Saka because he can't be playing week in, week out, 90 minutes because this is what can happen to a player. Get burnt out by the end of the season. But again, Again, not great from Saka whether you want to blame that on burnout or just poor you know performances again have to you know see next uh, summer maybe if we get a replacement not replacement competition but again Saka not great 4 out of 10 and yeah it doesn't a poor end to his season really and more for our season because most of these players haven't stepped up you do expect Saka to step up but unfortunately wasn't really great and ever since that West Ham penalty hasn't really been the same player has he Leandro Trossard I gave another 4 out of 10 and again really forgot he was playing to be honest. Most of our attackers are kind of ball to feet players. Martinelli is really our only outlet and he wasn't playing and I thought we kind of missed that threat because he was superb during this running. And Trossard again wasn't great ever since he got dropped um, for Jesus and his confidence may be a bit low but again wasn't great on the left. I thought he was pretty poor to be honest. And again, I prefer Trossard in like central areas in that eight role or even in that striker role because on the left and on the right, again, he can be decent, but I just don't think that's his best position. I think he's at his best when he's in that maybe centre forward false lane position. So in the future, I would really like to see Leandro Trossard play there. But again, had to play left maybe because Reese Nelson was ill and Martinelli's injured, so maybe needs must, but just didn't think it was great. And uh, yeah, nothing, didn't really show anything to be honest. So 
Poor game from Trossard, I thought, so another 4 out of 10 goes to him. Finally, Gabriel Jesus, I gave a 3 out of 10. The lowest of the starting players, I believe, because I just thought he was so poor. And yes, didn't really have a clear-cut chance, and, uh, you know, that's probably no fault of his, of his own. But I thought he played a bit like when Lacazette was here at Arsenal. Obviously, he's doing good in Liga, but when he was at Arsenal, I thought, you know, he was very poor. And I thought Jesus, every time he got the ball, it bounced off him. I mean, there was one time where he perhaps should have got a penalty, maybe unlucky there. But again, most of the times he was on the floor more than standing up. Just, you know, um, not really holding up to the ball. You know, usually he's very physical in duels. Didn't really win any duels against the centre-backs, got quite bullied. And again ball kept bouncing off him and didn't really you know gain us an attack and help our attack at all did he so i just thought he was so poor and it's a bit worrying because ever since he got injured he's not been the same player has he ever since that uh, liverpool goal at anfield maybe or even um the west ham goal he was really not been great and it's disappointing from jesus because we're expecting much more when he did come back and he's not you know fully provided that however it is a knee surgery injury so maybe we're all being harsh here people are giving up on him i really don't agree with that i still think i mean he's obviously he's not a prolific goal scorer we all knew that however he's a fantastic player i mean before the world cup you saw how he was playing maybe this would be good for him maybe a little month's break and come back for pre-season should hopefully look sharp and uh, yeah hopefully he can get back to that form if not then maybe we need to go out for another backup or plan b but at the moment i wouldn't you know want to fully replace him so i think some people are being a bit harsh but again criticism is you know probably needed because his performances again can't be too harsh because of his knee surgery but he needs to play much better and maybe this you know end of season thing would be good for him so very poor from jesus i thought so i gave him a three out of ten three out of ten on that day on to some of the subs i gave them all six out of ten tinny when he came on people wondering why he didn't start which is fair enough but again when he came on didn't do too much Fabio Vieira, again, not enough time. And Kea, not enough time. So I give all the subs a 6 out of 10 because I thought they were brought on a bit too late. And perhaps some of the wrong subs because I didn't think they had really any impacts. But again, not given enough time, in my opinion, to make a true impact. So just a 6 out of 10. You can't really blame any of them for the loss, in my opinion. Finally, the manager. He's got quite a bit of criticism, actually, because, um, you know, the changes. Why put Party at right back? Why put Kiwi at left back? I really didn't mind that. I wanted to see something a bit different and maybe just experimenting for next season. You can kind of see why he doesn't rotate. Maybe people say you should rotate more, but again, does he have the depth? I'll give him a 5 out of 10. I'm not sure if that's a bit generous because at the end of the day, that's two games in a row. And, you know, we've ended the season on a poor, poor whimper. Manager has to take some blame, but also the players have to take lots of blame too because their complacency, that's not really great for them. So, Arteta... 5 out of 10, maybe don't rotate enough, maybe you should have changed more stuff, maybe you should have been more proactive with the subs, and maybe you should have, you know, if he's gonna, if that's the season done, maybe just give more people more opportunities, such as Smith Rowe, so 5 out of 10 for Arteta, had a fantastic season of course, people who, you know, don't want him in the club anymore, I think that's ridiculous, but criticism, you know, that's, you know, fully warranted, because the effort, um, starting 11 was a bit questionable, but can he control certain things, like such as final for de uh, decision making, team didn't look motivated is that down to the manager lots of questions but again not a great managerial performances but you can kind of see why he doesn't um, rotate much because of our depth and that's something we really need to fix so 5 out of 10 for Arteta didn't think he was great but obviously not fully at fault and that's it for this player ratings guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about you know the managerial performance the subs performance the starting 11 what do you think of that what do you think of certain players in the starting 11 do you agree with mine do you think i'm way off do you think i'm spot on let me know all your player ratings in the comment section below as well and that uh, yep that's really it for this video i'll probably do a numbers video and then we all focus goes to the final you know game against wolves and then it's probably transfer transfer season and then pre-season so you know we'll have to look forward to the next season I have to also reflect back to this season and yeah enjoy it even though we you know haven't ended the way we wanted to but that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.